So, if you've ever used Premiere, then you've probably used its built-in warp stabilizer. If you've used that warp stabilizer, then you've probably noticed that a couple times when you use it, you get this weird warping effect. That doesn't look too good in your videos. So what do you do? Well, ideally, you'd want to go back out there and shoot it again with some sort of gimbal or stabilizer. But for most of the time, you probably can't go back to that same location if, let's assume it's an event or a travel video in another country, so you can't really go back out there to shoot it again. Well, what do you do now? You really need that clip and there's not much to do about it. Well, guess what? You're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to turn that super shaky video into some almost gimbally, super smooth video. Yeah. Hey guys, we're here back in Premiere and here's our clip right here. We'll play it real quick. It's quite a shaky clip. It was shot handheld. Should have used the gimbal, but I didn't get it at the time. So that's the clip. And if we apply warp stabilizer, you can see near the end, it has this warping effect, that jello effect that doesn't look too good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stable this in After Effects, stabilize this in After Effects. Don't worry, it's easier than you think. All you have to do is right click to the clip right click the clip and hit replace with after effects composition and that's going to open up after effects and here is our composition right here this is our clip i'm going to cut it just about here just to make this tutorial faster and delete that it's better if you don't know how to cut in after effects it's uh, command shift D or if you want you can just do it in Premiere and it'll automatically get that same length of clip in After Effects. So here's our clip now what we're gonna do is track the motion or stabilize it if you don't have this panel right here you go to window and select tracker and it'll show up so we're gonna select our clip first and go to stabilize motion so for the first one we're just gonna select position and leave rotation and scale off and you're going to see this tracker point over here. So what you want to do is select this tracker point, move it around in select an area that's got some good contrast and is uniform throughout the clip. So what I'm going to do is select our subject over here. Right. At, let's just select uh, this area right by the hand and bag. So the first area right here is what it's going to track. And the second box is where it's going to look for the smaller box. So it's not good if you set it too big because sometimes it gets confused and then moves around and also it's going to take a lot of processing power. So keep it reasonably sized and we're just going to go here and hit track analyze forward. So far it's doing a pretty good job tracking our subject staying on spot throughout. And if we skim through we can see I think it did a pretty good job tracking our subject. So what we're going to do is simply hit apply and hit OK. And there it is. It's tracked only the position so far. And you can see these transparent areas at the back. That's because it's moving the frame around to compensate for that movement. And the shakier your footage, the more you're going to have to crop in to get rid of this. So we're going to skim through it and I think it did a pretty good job. What we're going to do next is we're going to get rid of these edges over here by simply zooming in and adjusting our frame around so we get rid of it. Showing it a bit over here, we can move it up. So I think that's pretty good right now. So what we're gonna do next is right click our composition and create a new composition from selection. This is gonna start fresh and we have our position tracked right now. But it's still a little bit shaky and that's because we didn't track the, ro we didn't track the rotation. That's what we're gonna do right now. It stabilized motion again. This time, click rotation and untick the position. But this time, you're gonna see two tracker points instead of one. So where are you gonna put these? Well, what you want to do is find a place in your frame within the horizontal or vertical axis. So a good candidate would be this bar over here. We can select this vertical axis over here. Uh, we can select the tree if we want. And the longer it is, the better. So I'm gonna select this point over here because I think it's pretty good. And we're gonna move our first tracking point to one end of it. So right about here. 
and we're gonna move our second track point to the other end right there it's good to watch it while it's tracking to see if it gets off point and if it does you can simply stop it anytime and then readjust your track points put them back in their same position and continue analyzing forward so so far it's doing a pretty good job i'm gonna wait for it to finish and come back all right so finish tracking the rotation i think it did an okay job uh we'll find out so what we're gonna do is hit apply go to the beginning of the frame and hit apply and that should stabilize the rotation let's take a look oh look at that that is really smooth and you can see the transparent thing again so we just to compensate for that by zooming in so I think it did a pretty good job of stabilizing it it's it's definitely not a hundred percent perfect but it is really good now if we go back into Premiere Pro it should update in real time I've already done this ahead of time so I'm gonna show you the final result so I think that looks pretty smooth that is silky smooth right there so if you take your time and make it perfect it'll end up looking like this that is really good so if we look at the before right here look how shaky that was and the outcome silky smooth it almost looks like it was shot with a gimbal so this is a really powerful technique if you got a clip where you really need to stabilize it and you don't have another option this is the way to do it and that's it for this one now that was pretty impressive don't you think so that's it for this video guys if you liked it and enjoyed it learned something give it a thumbs up and that's it for this video also don't forget to follow me on instagram that's where i post a lot of stories of places i go to bonus tips all that kind of stuff so check me out there and once again, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time.